This is Dean Rogers for the Rogers Review. Coming up, it's time for the Right to Bear Arts Gala. Stay tuned, you do not want to miss it. How has the arts impact your life? Oh, I mean, it's changed my life dramatically from, uh, you know, we were a low income okay. family, but my mom always taught me to express myself in the living room and dance and sing. And I was, you know, in the play Annie by the time I was eight years old and on TV by the time I was 10. So, you know, the arts has shaped who I am for sure. Arts are really one of the most effective change agents available to mankind. And I've seen it a million times. I've seen people's lives transformed by the arts. And uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm here with the Creative Coalition fighting to save the NEA. You know, a, a, one, part of our delegation today went to Walter Reed uh, Hospital, the VA hospital, where there's uh, an NEA uh, program to help uh, vets with PTSD. And it's absolutely transformative what it does to help these guys who have uh, and, and gals who have you know served our country come back from a, a traumatic uh, experience overseas. So what inspires you to get into the field of public broadcasting? I was at the State Department and I saw when I traveled all over the world the impact of uh, public media, the content that we have in this country. People watching Ken Burns' films on civil rights and the power of the content, and I wanted to be part of that. And through public media, beyond the uh, content that entertains, we also educate and inform. And when you get outside of Washington, D.C., you can really see the impact we have in small communities, in rural communities, where sometimes we're the only uh, connection to high quality information, journalism, and entertainment through over the air. So what do you feel the public needs to do to contact their congressman to tell them that we must fight to keep our arts programs? Well, I think that uh, actually uh, people throughout America are doing this. And recently a study we conducted through an outside nonpartisan uh, firm, not Republican or Democrat, showed that uh, a majority of Americans support public media and a majority of those who voted for President Trump. So it's not really a political issue. It's something that matters. What was your first experience into the arts? Did you do music? Did you do acting? What was your first experience? Um, honestly, I can't remember a time when I wasn't in the arts. I was doing theater, I was singing from so, so young. So I I really, like, my dream since I was little, it's like, was to win an Academy Award. Like, that is my, like, six-year-old dream. Gosh, I've known that I wanted to be an actress since I had conscious thought, okay? So since, since I was a toddler. And thank God, back when I grew up in the 70s and 80s, we had programs. And it, it was not, um, you know, it, it was expected that you would take Glee Club and drama and like it was part of your education in public schools. By the time I graduated, they were slashing all of that. And we didn't understand, we didn't know about art therapy back then. Um, we, we didn't know how therapeutic the arts could be. And we didn't understand growing up. It's not just a fun thing to do. It's a, it's a lifeline for people. I talk to a lot of moms, especially in underserved communities, and the most dangerous time for their kids is between three and six, because mom's working her butt off, and she's not home yet, and the kids are out of school. If you put those kids in arts programs and programs that nurture their sense of possibility in that time, what you get statistically is somebody who gets 100% higher on their SATs. They're twice as likely to stay in high school, and they're more likely to go to college. Those are people getting what they deserve from their government, a chance at a real meaningful life, instead of, you know, fending for themselves. Well, I, I think the first thing people need to realize is that the arts are not some ethereal, otherworldly thing that happens over there. Exactly. By elite people in LA and New York. 
the, you know, the majority of the NEA funding is done in small rural communities in every conditional district in this country. Everybody is touched by the NEA. Everybody has equal access to this money and it funds things like cultural projects, historical projects, archaeology, sociology, as well as painting and dance and music and theater. And it, it's an opportunity for everybody to actually express and create. And you don't have to be an artist to create and express. Everybody needs to create and express. You know, my six-year-old comes home from school every day with these paintings and they're amazing. He may not be an artist, but he's expressing himself. Child psychologists look at the paintings that kids make and they can tell if they have a happy home life. My kids got three smiling people. That makes me so happy. Just contact your elected official. That's who they want to hear from. We were on Capitol Hill all day today, and the only thing we heard over and over again was, I want to hear what my constituents are saying about this. And NEA grants go to every congressional district. So that's all you got to do. And that, that little piece of the budget, which, uh, which comes back $7 to every $1 invested for the community, will happen. The person who's listening or watching want to become an actress just like you. What would you tell them to get them inspired? Learn everything. Why learn everything? Because everything matters. I mean, I took a physics class just so that I could graduate. It was a physics for poets class in college. And then I ended up doing a play I did Tom Stoppard's Arcadia, which is all about the laws of thermodynamics, and all of a sudden I needed to know all of that. There is nothing that's irrelevant to a life in the arts, because anything can make you inspired. Don't just sit at home and watch movies. Get out, live life, travel. When it comes to saving the arts program, who better to give advice than the artists themselves? We talked to Wendy, we talked to Tim, we talked to Sarah, we talked to many actors, artists, who make the craft so easy. So if I were you, I'd get off the couch right now and take an art, no matter if it's painting, no matter if it's learning how to draw. Art is key to life. Reporting from the Flavio Restaurant in Washington, D.C., this is Dean on the Scene. Check us out at therogersreview.com and WERA 96.7 FM.